Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Welcome back, my friends. Um, in this video, I'd like to show you one new improvement I have made uh, to the standard coil, and it's a backlight on the north side. So, as you see, the letter N, which I actually added recently as well, and now it's uh, being backlighted in addition to the front as we have um, South Pole LED indicator indicating letter S here and up front we're gonna have a backlight for uh, letter North so the way it connects is you have your 12 volt um, actually let me show you the circuit diagram for it so you have your 12 volt comes in and then it would go into the backlight. These are these are the new LEDs that I have added recently um, for the backlight. This is a five segment um, LED that uh, creates <coughs> letter S, and this last one, which is not connected to this, um, but it's in there as well. This is the dot, and this dot is connected to the blinking LED and anytime thermal switch triggers this blinking LED will start blinking and um, and um, this south pole will shut off and so is backlight for the north pole will shut off and this will start blinking anytime the thermal switch triggers so the thermal switch is over there it's actually installed offset right here to the coil like this it's picking up um, it's a 50 Celsius thermal switch but because it's offset to the angle it's not flat laying flat with the coil to this side it's like this sorry about my dirty hands um, so it's picking up around um, 60 Celsius it bypasses some of the temperature and um, this results in coil um, heating up to about surface of the coil heating up to about 60 celsius before thermal switch triggers and when it triggers the south pole led indicator will go off um, the dot over there there's a dot the dot will come on and right here is the blinking led right next to it right here the blinking led will come on also the backlight on the north side will uh, shut off so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so you guys can see here is my 12 volt coming in so the way it works is you feed 12 volt into the circuit this circuit here so this is my hot and I am feeding the 12 volt in and as it returns right here from the coil it needs to return into the relay coil so this relay has a couple contacts and this is the coil wires that's attached to it right now relays coil make sure and I am attaching this wire to here just a second I'm gonna go ahead and connect it well you can't do that with one hand now I got it connected and here we go we got south pole led indicator along with the north pole that is being lit up right now let me shut off the lights so we can see it better here we go so this is the south pole indicator and this is the north side it's works like a small flashlight it doesn't produce much light but at night you will be able to see it so also I wanted to mention that <clears throat> um, this circuit has a safety built-in so this uh, 4.2 volt uh, Zener here is for any time 
um, these LEDs will start burning out in case in case they start burning out um, and current wouldn't be able to go through them to trigger through the uh, thermal switch to trigger the relay um, this Zener is here to bypass in case this um, LEDs burn out uh, the current will be able to bypass the LEDs also if white LEDs burn out um, in case as well because current is floating through them as well so if they burn out the current will be able to bypass via 4.2 volt zener here uh, also in case they are short which usually doesn't happen but diodes do short so in case they short and stop producing light um, either this side current will be going through it and if this side is shorting current will be going through it as well and um, relay will um, function properly as long as thermal switch is operating which is very rare that this component fails um, I had one coil that actually uh, had a failed thermal switch after it was installed actually a year later um, but <clears throat> that's like one out of a hundred that uh, this thermal switch fails usually it doesn't fail so um, this circuit um, will work in case LEDs fail or short so I just want to show you that this will allow you to continue use the coil when this doesn't work and when this doesn't work you will still be able to use a coil and it will trigger when it gets hot and it will place your unit in a standby mode on a safety all right guys if you find this video useful and um, like it share it subscribe and i'll see you in the next one